Shalom. I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. And I want to give double honors to the apostles, the great millstone of Yasharala. And I want to give all salutations to the brothers of GMS. First precept we're going to get is Isaiah 19 and 15. Neither shall there be any works for Egypt, which the head of the tail branch or rush may do. You know, America is modern day Egypt. You know, it's ain't going to be any uh, work. It's going to be like the uh, apocalypse of the retail industry. Is Ecclesiastes 12 and 3. And the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong man shall bow themselves in the grinders yeast because they are few and those that look out of the window be darkened you know the grinders you know it's not gonna be a lot of work in the streets you know it's gonna be like the retail apocalypse a lot of um major companies is uh closing down verse four the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinder is low and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird and all the daughters of music shall be brought low um uh, this is revelations This is the bonus video right here. Back now with a new and shocking stat on the percentage of jobs expected to be snapped up by robots and sooner than you might think. Here's ABC Stephanie Ramos. Tonight, Amazon embracing the robot revolution. That's CEO Jeff Bezos. His company already using automation to ship your packages. That's just the start. Machines could take more than 38% of U.S. jobs in about 15 years, according to a new report from PricewaterhouseCoopers. Industries most at risk? Transportation, storage, food service, and hospitality. Prototypes to deliver your room service. Driverless cars to deliver you. And semi-trucks to deliver your beer. All of it in the works. And remember those carrier jobs that were saved? The carrier has decided to stay in Indiana, invest more than $16 million. That investment will automate the plant, which Carrier says will ultimately mean fewer jobs. But the Treasury Secretary, confident automation won't hurt American workers. In terms of artificial intelligence taking over American jobs, I think we're like so far away from that that uh, not, not even on my radar screen. But tell that to baristas. This startup already putting them out of business. As for jobs least likely to be replaced by robots, ones that require high-level thinking skills like teachers and some healthcare professionals. Tom? Stephanie Ramos for us tonight. Stephanie, thank you.